when you start practicing a belief you have to train your brain to start seeking out evidence and that's how new neural patterns are formed in your brain right so if you are creating a new belief that everything i share is gold every single like every single comment or every time someone tells you that your content is amazing look at that as evidence right it does not have to be sales Hello and welcome to the Brave Marketing Podcast with your host Swapna Thomas. This is the podcast for the renegades, the trailblazing leaders and the change makers who don't just have a business, it's your calling. Those of you who want to make a difference and make money but all on your own terms. I'm on a mission to show as many life coaches as possible how you can have more income more impact and infinitely more fun by being unapologetically and bravely you and breaking all the rules i have created five figure months with no paid ads a tiny list and zero complicated sales funnels simplifying marketing and teaching you how to use it for good in the world is my zone of genius with this podcast i'm here to share weekly episodes on the soul and the strategy of marketing mindset money and everything online business let's dive into today's episode today we are jumping right into the abc of 10k months because this topic is way too juicy for me to keep shooting the breeze with you before i give you the meat and potatoes I want to begin with a disclaimer that by no means do I feel that a 10k month is the only way you can feel successful or worthy in your business. You are already worthy. In fact, what I'm about to share with you is exactly what you would use even if your goal was 5k months or 20k months with subtle changes of course. Another note I want to make here is that if you do desire to make 10k months your niche your clients your expertise is never a roadblock to that so you don't have to be a business coach to make 10k months you can be a parent coach a health coach a sobriety coach an intuitive healer or any other niche like i've worked with all of these niches and all of them have the capability and the capacity to make 10k months neither do you only have to market to women in business to make money um this is a narrative i hear a lot in the coaching world that only women who are in business have spending power or they have the mindset to spend money not true there is a lot of money in the world and your soul clients have the money to pay for your coaching so that said let's get into the abc of 10k months so the a here is audience you have to grow your audience you can definitely have a few 5k months or even a 10k month with the existing audience that you already have but if you keep selling to the same pool of audience scaling your income consistently is going to be hard you have to create demand for your offers and for that you need a fresh incoming pool of audience but You don't need thousands of people in your audience. In a viral article from 2008, Kevin Kelly proposed this idea of a thousand true fans. True fans are not just any other kind of fans. These are people in your audience who feel a intimate personal connection to your brand and your mission. These are the fans who will buy everything that you offer and they will recommend you to everyone else in the world if you build a community of thousands such true fans you will never need to worry about sales ever again in your life but the truth here is that most of us especially in the coaching world we don't even need a thousand true fans even a hundred will mean you are booked out and you're making 10k months with ease for years and you don't need to run facebook ads or create super complicated funnels or stay on social media 24/7 for growing your audience a few intentional daily organic activities are enough and honestly 
even if your audience just grows by one person a day or one person a week, that is still 365 new people over the year or 52 new people in your audience. And that's incredible. So let me give you the strategic and the energetic breakdown of audience growth. So the energetic shift that you need to make to grow your audience is to start asking yourself this question. Do you even believe that you are worth following, right? And it does not mean that you have to have a lot of followers to be worth following. The quality of your content is not decided by how many people are liking it, commenting on it, or how many people are following you. The quality of your content is determined by what do you feel about it, right? So do you believe that you are worth following? That what you're putting out there into the world, what you're sharing, the value that you're sharing with the world is actually worth following. Do you want to be seen or rather do you feel safe to be seen? And if you're feeling invisible, even when you're showing consistently, then you have to listen to episode two where I talked all about what to do when you have been showing up consistently, but you still feel invisible. You are a big deal. (laughs) Okay. Even one tiny shift that you share in your content can absolutely change the trajectory of someone's life. But you have to believe that, have to feel that, and you have to show up like that. Every single day when you show up and you share your content, you have to believe that it is absolutely good. Now let's talk about strategy because I am all about the balance of energy and strategy. So strategically, to grow your audience, you have to look at what platforms are you mastering. Do not water yourself down by trying to be everything on every platform. You have to choose one primary platform to master and probably one secondary platform that you are still growing on. So Facebook, if that's your primary platform, master that and let Instagram be the secondary platform that you are growing. Or it could be the other way around, right? So Instagram is your primary platform where you're showing up and doing all the amazing things that you want to do. And Facebook is sort of like your repurposing center. You're repurposing all the content that you're taking from Instagram and putting it on Facebook. So really focus your energy on the platform that you want to grow. And you don't need a hundred different platforms. You need one or two platforms and you really need to cultivate and master that platform, right? Where are you showing up, standing up and selling consistently? And you get to define your consistency. So you don't have to be, you know, showing up every single day. You choose your consistency, but then stick to that consistency. It can be daily-ish. It could be weekly, but anything more than that, like if you're just showing up monthly, your results are going to reflect that. Let me be very clear about that. On top of the social media platforms that you have, you also have your email list. I am a diehard fan of cultivating an email list. And again, it does not have to be a huge email list. You can have a small, tiny, but quality email list, right? And anytime you're trying a strategy or you're trying something new in your business, give it at least 90 days before you change anything. Or even if you're trying a new platform, whether it is Instagram or Facebook or, you know, if you're on TikTok, give it at least 90 days before you start jumping on and hopping on and off from one platform to the other. It's going to take time for the compound results to show up and that's okay. Now let's talk about B, that is belief. You desire 10K months, but you won't even accept it. You don't trust yourself because you feel like it hasn't worked in the past. So why would it work now? You're constantly second-guessing your decisions and you're constantly wavering on your goal. But what if you knew that your offer was going to sell out and was going to change people's lives? If you already believed that this was done, what would you do then? How would you show up? What kind of content would you write? What would you say to your audience? Would you really just post about your offer a couple of times And then hide and disappear because no one showed interest or no one bought. If you knew that this was going to be life-changing and it was going to sell out and no matter what, 
you are worthy and you are value, then would you hide? Right? So that's the kind of belief you need to cultivate. It needs to be unwavering belief where you are working with certainty. You're not second guessing your decisions every single day and you trust yourself and you trust every single thing that you're doing. So the energetic shift that you need to make here is to really look at your beliefs around marketing, content and sales. And also what do you even believe about money? So I'm not going to go into super detail on this because in the last episode, that is episode five, we covered all about how to do a belief audit and it takes you through the entire process, right? And strategically, what you need to do is to practice your beliefs and start looking for the evidence. This is key. When you start practicing a belief, you have to train your brain to start seeking out evidence. And that's how new neural patterns are formed in your brain, right? So if you are creating a new belief that everything I share is gold, every single like, every single comment, or every time someone tells you that your content is amazing, look at that as evidence, right? It does not have to be sales. It does not have to be clients who sign up with you or even sales calls that you book. It can be any tiny thing because you're building a stack of evidence that your belief is working. Anything is possible, but you have to train your brain to believe it first. And now we come to C, which is content, my favorite thing to talk about. But not just any content, it's brave content. And if you haven't listened to the very first episode of this podcast, BRAVE is an acronym and it stands for bold, rebellious, authentic, value-driven and empowered content. So no more wishy-washy energy where you're sort of tiptoeing around your message. You want to say something, but you're scared of how people will receive that. Will anyone even understand that? So you are kind of, you know, hinting around it, being vague around about it and not really standing up for your message. Or you might be sharing fuzzy content with lots of vague industry jargons and you're not really sharing the clear benefits of working with. You're always talking about the features, right? So you're talking about how many calls are there, how much support do you give, all the modules that they get. But you're not really certain and clear about the transformation that you're going to provide them. So the fact that you know where they are right now and where they will be once they have worked with you, you are not articulating that with certainty and with 100% belief. So what kind of energetic shifts do you need to make around your content? First of all, really look at what do you make it mean about yourself and your content when people don't comment on your posts or they don't like or you don't get enough likes. What are you making it mean about you? And what are you making it mean about your clients and your content? Where are you holding back on your truth? Are you saying what you really want to say? Or are you just kind of still playing the good girl and just, you know, dropping hints about what you really want to say, but you're not coming out strongly and saying that because you're worried that you might get trolled or you're worried that people might reject you or some people might unfollow you. What this does is it basically dims down your potency. It dims down your potential. And your soul clients who are looking for you, who are looking for this person who's going to share this message proudly, loudly and unabashedly cannot find you, right? Because you are hiding. That's what you're doing energetically. You're hiding behind safe content. You're not really going out there and saying what is on your heart and what you really, really believe. So stop hiding. Start sharing what you really want to say. And those who are meant to hear it will find your way to you and they will work with you. And those who don't, they can unfollow you, right? And if you get trolls, you can block them. That's what the block button is for. Now let's talk about the strategic shifts in your content. Honestly, I believe that every content strategy works when you work, when you put your belief behind it. And when you feel that this is the best strategy for me right now, 
and you stop second guessing it and you stop uh, being confused about it because confusion is a choice then it works right there are so many strategies out there there are webinars there are challenges there are lead magnets like there are so many strategies to grow your audience to share your content and any of those can be aligned when you make it aligned when you find your alignment with it then it feels aligned right so if you feel webinars are not something that you want to do what kind of webinar would you want to do you don't have to call it a webinar you can call it a you know a tea party for all i care call it a tea party for your favorite clients for your favorite people in your audience who open all of your emails gather them around for a tea party or a campfire call it whatever you want make it aligned to who you are right um you can make anything soulful like i said if something does not feel purposeful to you intentional to you find how you can do it in a different way where you can make it your own and you can put your soul into it and like i said before share and you know clearly and confidently stake the claim on the transformations that you create for your clients own that stuff don't be wishy washy around it don't be vague around how amazing you are how incredible the results that your clients get by working with you really own that stuff and then choose your strategies and take action because at the end of the day it's all about those compounding actions that you can take which build momentum in your business right so that's the episode for today this was a quick one but i hope this gave you a lot of food for thought if this episode helped you and you would love to share it on instagram do take a screenshot and tag me at swapna thomas coaching helping you set this abc in place so that you are on track for easy and effortless 10k months is exactly what i do when you work with me in my 6 month one on one coaching program i use a combination of my marketing genius coaching skills and hypnosis to help you feel clear and confident about your message get freaking good at sharing content and sell without ever feeling like a sleaze ball i have three spots open right now and you can book a free connection call to see if you are a good fit for the program the booking link is in the show notes seriously this call is going to be the best thing that you do for your business this year i'll be back with another episode next week until then stay brave that's the episode for today thank you so much for listening to this episode i am thrilled to have you as part of the brave marketing community because this podcast is still brand new it would mean so much to me if you could leave a five star review as that will make it easy for other brave hearts to find this podcast and grow our community of rule breakers until next time have a brave week ahead <laughs>